Session 35. Grocery shopping. Michael and John are taking the weekly trip to the grocery store. My teeth have been hurting lately. I think I need to get a new tube of toothpaste and maybe a couple of toothbrushes just in case. Yes, and maybe a trip to the dentist. We need to get a carton of milk as well. One? That's too little. We should get a couple of cartons at least, because we drink a lot of milk and I hate it when there's none left for my coffee in the mornings. OK, two cartons of milk it is. Two loaves of bread is enough, right? Yeah, I hardly eat any bread, so I think one loaf will suffice. We should get some bars of chocolate too. I love chocolate. Maybe that's why your teeth are hurting. You might have some cavities. I don't think it's a good idea. But we'll get one bar of chocolate each. We should get a pair of scissors too. The other day I was trying to open a box from the shop, but I couldn't find a single pair of scissors in the entire flat. You are so weak, John, and you always lose things. I'm certain we've had several pairs of scissors, but we'll get a few just in case. Whatever, Michael. What else do we need? Let's get some slices of ham from the butcher. They always have the best meat. Sounds perfect. And maybe a tub of ice cream? Come on. We have to be healthy. Anyways, how did the job interview go? Were there many people applying for the position? There were quite a few, both women and men. Actually, they phoned me yesterday and said they had some news. It was bad news. They told me that they were very satisfied with the impression I'd given at the interview, but there were many impressive applicants and they went with somebody who had more experience. Oh, it's not fair, you know. They say that you need more experience to get a job, but how are you supposed to get experience when no one is willing to give you a job without experience? Oh, it's a catch-22. Don't worry, Michael. It takes time. A lot of people don't get jobs on their first interview. You just need to try a couple more times. Suddenly, John's phone rings. He answers and a wide smile appears across his face. When he finishes the phone call, Michael asks him what it was about. Well, I'm sorry about this, but it seems some people do get a job on their first interview. I had an interview at an electronics company yesterday and they have just phoned me to tell me the job is mine. No way! You are so lucky, John. That's ridiculous. Now I'll definitely need a few more bars of chocolate and maybe a couple of pieces of cake as well.